everyone and welcome back to the integrity botanicals youtube channel if you caught my what's new video just a couple days ago if you didn't i'll link it down below you will have already known to expect this video because i briefly mentioned the new curewise lip glosses and i am so excited to bring you guys a review and swatch on this product because i haven't seen too many floating around in green beauty land um so maybe we're one of the first to do it which is very very exciting and hopefully will help you choose a lip gloss if you were curious about this product so let's start with packaging and all of that like I always do and then we will get into colors on the mouth the whole thing you guys know how this goes arm swatches will be down below per usual anyways packaging wise um, it's gorgeous like always with Kier Weiss the actual container of the lip gloss is a little bit thicker and the top has that beautiful metal piece with the KW emblem as always on the top once we unscrew this product, it just has a very, very classic doe foot applicator wand. I would say maybe this is slightly shorter than usual, or maybe just the packaging is making it seem that way. And inside, we are getting 4.0 milliliters worth of product. I will try and com compare some other glosses down below so you can get a sort of frame of reference for that. Um, but as always, this beautiful top, it is so heavy. This is like exceptionally heavy. I know all of it is, but maybe since the top is so much more heavy than the bottom i'm really noticing it however though it's top heavy they can stand upright if you want to have them stand upright in your vanity so you don't have to worry about that whoops did you hear that loud noise that's how heavy it is but anyways if you knew nothing about the cure weiss brand then you would know or if you you would not know that everything in the line is sustainable that's sort of their big thing so the lip glosses if you were curious about how they refill you just pop the top off here um it, it does have a slight magnet so you don't have to worry about them slipping off at all and then you're you're just left with this little tube this little plastic unit right here that you can buy the refill of so when you buy it together you are paying a premium price of course great packaging but it is sustainable so whenever you purchase the refills you will be saving a little bit of money in the long run so the full pr price product is $38 and the refill is 30 not as much of a savings as the rest of their product but that is because um, the refill system I think is a little bit more difficult to master on a product something like this but I think it's a great idea anyway and saving a couple bucks if you need to repurchase um, definitely worth it because I've never used a lip gloss up in my life so that would be a true achievement on my end anyway like always with care Weiss products or like most times these lip glosses are 100% organic or very high percentage of organic they're eco -cert certified as well and they are um, formulated with the usual castor seed oil rosehip seed oil um, sunflower seed oil that makes like a beautiful blend that they use in a lot of their products and the finish on these is a very soft and shiny finish very very cushiony um, I will discuss this a little bit as we start talking through the shades but what I love about the formula and I talk about this a lot when it comes to gloss is that they have a very nice amount of color where you could wear it on its own but it's not at all overpowering so they layer beautifully um, you don't have to worry about it being such intense pigment that's gonna get all over your teeth it's gonna bleed nothing like that and I do really like the classic doe foot applicator on them really easy application nothing innovative or crazy but just good standard classic they stuck with what works and it really really does so let's just get right into the shades there are five I'm gonna share with you today all in sort of a gorgeous nude variety which I really love because I think this is what the everyday woman is sort of reaching for on an everyday basis and that's how Cure Weiss works to me and why that is the genius of it as well so I'm gonna sort of go lightest to darkest swatches will be down below on my arm if you're curious but we're gonna do them right on the mouth for now so we sort of get a gauge for color so first up we have Cherish and when I first saw Cherish I was like oh mama will not be able to wear her and then I wore it um, on its own just I was like the second I got these in the mail I was like, oh my god I have to try them on I love them so much and um, it's just a beautiful milky pink shade I do believe there's ever so slightly micro glitter that is silver in here so it adds even more beautiful dimension to the lips maybe that's what keeps it from being so milky on my mouth but again this is what i was talking about in pigmentation if this was any more pigmented i would not be able to wear it it would just wash me out it would look flat instead i could use this to lighten up any sort of lip colors i haven't tried it with gressa bear yet but you know 
That is my ride or die nude lip color and I think this would look amazing on it. The sheen on them is soft but eye catching at the same time. The, the texture is cushiony. This color, I can't believe how wearable it is for me. I'm really, really excited to get to putting that on my mouth and layering it and trying it with some new things. But that is the beautiful Cherish. Love the sort of sparkle that is in there because most of these just have a regular cream formulation. Moving along to Treasure. Treasure is equally pale but much more peach. So if you're into more warm tones, this is definitely the one for you. Of course on me this is a little bit more wearable even though I think they're all incredibly wearable even on my skin to excuse me, which I think is a little difficult to pull off those more milky cool tone shades. But Treasure is just a beautiful, very, very baby peach color. It reminds me of the blush in Precious, which I still love that from that spring drop um, a couple years ago. But just a beautiful, milky pastel peach that looks divine on the mouth, whether alone or with layering. Then we have the shade Tenderness. Tenderness is definitely the my lips but better sort of shade. This has a lot more brown to it. It's just a brownish sort of pink, but still very life-giving to the face. It's not too brown at all. Whenever I say brown, I feel like some people are like, oh, no, don't want that. This just has a little bit in it. That tiny little bit of brown is gonna make it so universally flattering, and I think this is sort of one of those lip glosses maybe one of my favorites in the bunch, but it is so hard to pick. That is what I love about this, by the way, about this entire line um, colorway that they've chosen, is that they are all, all sort of in the same family, if you will, but I, you could, if you had the money burning a hole in your pocket and you love them that much, you could buy all of them and wear them all for different occasions, different looks, different purposes, and you wouldn't feel like, oh, that's more or less the same. Anyways, moving along to the shade Affinity is definitely the first shade I fell in love with. My eye just sort of immediately went to it. This is just a more warm pink, more of a true pink as well, a little bit brighter than the previous colors that I have mentioned. And in turn, I love wearing this on its own too. I think it's just so life-giving to the face. Really, really beautiful, just natural shade. I mean, they all are. I don't want to sound repetitious, but they're just all so gorgeous. Even seeing them on the back of my hand, you can see the way they're picking up all this artificial light just like boom, boom, boom. It looks beautiful. Rounding off all the colors with the shade Fascination. And Fascination is gorgeous. It is what I have alone on my mouth today. And I'm like looking at myself in the mirror. I'm like, that looks gorgeous. You're doing amazing, sweetie. But anyway, um, Treasure is that? No, I'm so sorry. It's Fascination. Fascination has the most pigment. It is also the darkest of all of the shades, of course. Um, so usually that's the case. It is just this corally orangey pink. I don't even know how to describe it. It's incredibly unique yet incredibly wearable at the same time. I think for spring, this is all that's going to be on my mouth. And that's saying a lot because you know I am just a lip gloss girl and a lip product girl through and through. But look at that. It's just a nice punch of color in the line. I think this is so nice because it gives that sort of va va boom that you want, but it doesn't need to be red because red is just a little bit more high maintenance. And this one is not at all. And I did also want to say none of these are patchy at all. The way the product is distributed on the wand is so nice and even. So you, know, you can apply it without a mirror, absolutely. I mean, you could probably use this reflection like a mirror. No, it warps you, but you know, it was a good idea. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm pretty smitten with these lip glosses. Curewise can do very minimal wrong in my book. They just, they're just beautiful. And if you want to see the shades not on my, well, on my skin, but not on my face, just so you can see the colors in comparison to each other, you can see just how different and gorgeous they are. Um, like I already said 900 times, that, that photo will be down below like it always is. And let me know down below which um, color you guys are most excited about. If there's anything else from Kira Weiss you want to see me review, I am reviewing the powder that's coming next week. Don't worry. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like always, if you want to shop this product right here, right now, I'm going to link that down below. Price, ingredients are all going to be down there as well. Um, I will also have the refills. I mean, you definitely could just buy the refills if you wanted to. It wouldn't be quite as glamorous, but you know, to each their own. Just, just something to keep in mind. It is still a functioning product without the cap. Anyways, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed it, you enjoy Cure Weiss, period. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I do upload new videos here twice a week and I don't want you guys to miss them. But in the meantime, please follow us on all of our social media. That is down there in the description box down below, along with all the makeup I am wearing. I am wearing all the usual suspects. I love me a good warm brown smoky eye. If you want a tutorial on the look, let me know that too. 
But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.